Do you want to do the intro? On this episode of Doing the Most, we're trying birch syrup. Moment brews and various artists, everything from meat to roast. Bake creation, fermentation, and eat creation, doing the most. We're trying birch syrup. We're trying birch syrup. So. I was scrolling Instagram, as you do. As you do. As I do. And the uh, organization Solid Starts, which is really great if you have infants or toddlers who are transitioning to soon. yeah we, we will soon in soon five to six months how many months what, four months in like 20 weeks yeah in like 20 weeks um halfway if, there if you have an infant who's starting solid foods mm-hmm. solid starts is a great account to follow they give you uh information about what foods are appropriate for infants to eat and how to prepare them And they also have a strong focus on food exposure. So the family was having breakfast and they were using birch syrup on their pancakes instead of maple syrup. And I had no idea that birch syrup was a thing. So if you haven't deduced by now, birch syrup, like maple syrup, is from birch trees, Mm -hmm, from the sap, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. distilled down. There is not as much of it as maple syrup. That makes sense. Because the window for collecting it is smaller the quantity of sap needed to get the same quantity of maple syrup is like four times as much (laughs) that's significant yeah so um this is because the sugar concentration is lower yes i believe so i'm not a birch syrup expert this is kind of just like a wild hair but you love birch beer i do like birch beer non-alcoholic i like I love maple syrup, good maple syrup. Vermont and, maple syrup. And I like molasses, right? It, I like, like... Natural sweeteners. Yeah. And, and, you know, you had me thinking, you were talking about infants. Mm-hmm. Infants can't have honey, which we have lots of. Infants yeah. cannot have honey because of botulism risk, but presumably... Yeah. They would do fine yeah. with birch syrup because it's it's cooked with heat. Mm-hmm. Yeah? yeah. I mean, there's not, like, a super need to give your infant syrup but you were just talking about feeding infants <laughs> i mean these, were, these kids were like four year olds <laughs> okay so just disregard everything i said there so you wanted to taste some bird syrup I wanted for the to show taste some birch and syrup. we were talking about there's a there's like a world out there mm-hmm. where we just get an influx of of youtube contributions mm-hmm. and we just make a birch syrup something yes what maybe like a fermented soda mm-hmm. or oh, some, that'd be lovely. something of that nature yeah but it would be expensive it would be expensive and so we would definitely probably limit to one gallon scales we wouldn't okay. be doing anything on a five gallon scale <laughs> how much is a gallon of bird syrup i don't remember but these three little bottles were 45 dollars so this is these <gasps> are these are 3.4 fluid ounces each so for 36 grams of birch syrup there are 20 grams of sugar so you went online you did some mm-hmm. googling you found mm-hmm. this company alaska wild alaska harvest. wild harvest there are a couple companies that sell birch syrup but this was the only company that i found on like the first two or three pages of google that offered the ability to purchase based on when in the season mm, right, right, right. the syrup or the sap is collected. So we have first run, mid run, and late run. So we wanted to try all three to figure out like what that actually means to our palates and okay. taste preferences. If you were gonna brew something, would you I mean, want something? I would love to brew something. Yeah. I just don't, I've never tried this right. ingredient. And they do, all three have 20 grams of sugar for 36 grams. Okay, so we're gonna try these three different syrups. Okay. And I thought it would be fun to use our card deck of tasting cards mm-hmm. that we have created with our volunteer crew that will at some point figure out how to get into y'all's hands, but we're gonna do a giveaway. A giveaway. So you can go to doingthemost.org slash deck. It's right down there and enter to win that. We're gonna give away at least one, possibly two test decks of this deck. They're cool. They're like tasting cards. So this one says multi. I have a feeling this might be multi. I was thinking that too. We'll see. So these have flavors and aromatics on them. They're coated by different beverages that you might find these in, but we're gonna not use them for beverages. Yeah, we're because just, we're just for using tasting them in general. For an ingredient. And and this is gonna be a fun experiment to see, you know, I don't drink. And and so I've developed my palate some over mm-hmm. the last few years, but I don't necessarily use these words a lot in my day-to-day vocabulary. Right. So we'll get a first hand experience of 
you know, how it works for someone who isn't versed at all in, in bah, bah, bah. jargon of this nature. All right, let's do it. Open her up. We are going to start with first run. So this is early in the season. Okay. It uh, appears to be, it's on this, this chopstick, but it appears to be like a golden color. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm going for it. Go cool. right in. Oh. Weirdly, mm. I think that tastes exactly like what you would expect it to taste. It tastes like birch beer. It's bitter. Yeah. Yeah, but not. I don't think in an unpleasant way. Okay, yeah, let's let's use our vocab Here, words. I'll give you some cards. Okay. Oh man, this is gonna be a lot for me. You ready? I think so. So I chose sweet. Mm-hmm. It is sweet. Cereal. All right. I feel like it's got a little bit of those like grain yeah. kind of. Yeah, kind of like bready. Yeah, chewy kind of flavors. Mm -hmm. Bitter. Mm -hmm. Woody. Okay. It's got like a, just a little bit of a mm -hmm. barkiness to mm -hmm. it. Coffee. Okay. I thought there was like a depth there that surprised me. And it is, you know, there's on their stuff they recommend that you can use it in your to sweeten your coffee. So biscuity. It's got okay. a little bit of that burnt cookie kind of flavor mm -hmm. and earthy, kind okay. of minerally. Okay. I want to talk about my maybes first, okay. and then and I want your feedback. So I think it's kind of thin. I was surprised by that, it but I, it's so in, not. So in my deck was cloying and mm -hmm. I didn't choose that because in no way did I feel like yeah. my mouth was getting gummed up. And ironically, you know, this is something that we've noted with maple syrup. We like a thicker maple syrup mm -hmm. that we've often, when we don't like maple syrup, we describe it as thin. The New Hampshire stuff was very watery. And I thought that was actually an attribute here because, or a positive attribute here mm. because the flavor is so intense in a mm. way that maple syrup isn't. That if it was also like, like you said, cloying or viscous. Right. You don't want it to be, you don't want it to be leggy. Right. You don't want it to hang like, around. You want it to be, yeah, to smooth. So I had piney originally, but I pulled it out because it's not, it's not green. It's not verdant or yeah. juniperous. But I did have resinous, which I didn't even read, but it mm. says here tree sap at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would so, call it resinous. Um, I have toffee. Yeah, it's got a little bit of, I mean, it's, they cook it down, right? Right, It's got yeah, a little a bit of that. Caramelized sugar, I have riches. caramel. Um, so I have grassy, but maybe I need to take that out. That kind of goes in that piney. Well, and grassy is associated with like verdant, fresh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. often hoppy. Yeah, that makes and sense. I, I don't get anything that says fresh to me. It's okay. Definitely tastes cooked. What about herbal? Yeah, so in my deck was medicinal. Mm. And I, I almost chose that, yeah. but it doesn't have any like alcohol mm -hmm. kind of. Mm -hmm. But if it did, like this with a shot of vodka, I would definitely say ah, that's medicinal. Okay. Minerally, I think yep. I can agree. I, I think I said that about earthy. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. I thought you had earthy. Earthy, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's got that mineral kind okay. of. Okay, this is your favorite horse blanket. Do you think it, it qualifies as horse blanket? So when we talk about buckwheat honey, we talk about uh -huh. pungent. Uh -huh. That word is used a oh, lot. Oh, I think I had pungent here. Pungent? That pungency, some people will associate with horse blanket. Yeah. And I can see where you'd find a little bit of that like sour, mm -hmm. funky, like wet straw kind of flavor. This there. is really interesting because the best way, my last card is bright and I do think it's bright. I'm excited. I'm into this. That was the very first run of the season. Yes, that's the beginning of the season. What's supposed to be the sweetest and the brightest. And now we're coming right in the middle. So we're coming to the middle. So this is mid run. And I want to throw a shout out to our super chatters who uh -huh. in part yeah. paid for this experiment. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's yeah, it's definitely darker. Got a little extra there. Oh. Is it dramatically different? Um, maybe. <laughs> He's gonna have trouble on the third one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. 
Do you like the, the the early one better? I think so. So when you talked about horse blanket. <laughs> <laughs> that one's more horse blanket -y. Um, Where did that go? It's there right it there. Goes. This has a lot more horse blanket. So this okay. card says notes of wet horse, barnyard, damp straw, damp straw, soil, or musk. And it definitely has that like barnyard after like, we're in Oklahoma. The wind comes sweeping down the plains. You get one of those quick you know, mm. flash rainstorms and it's suddenly the skies are clear again and it like has that wet, wet, dry kind of smell. Mm -hmm. That's what's in it. Like when you go on a hay ride and it's a little too humid outside. I do think this one had more nuanced flavor mm -hmm. than this did. I was able to perceive more. This kind of was like, like two or three punchy notes and this mm -hmm. was more like a cascading effect. They're not like wildly different. I will say this one's more malty. Okay. It's got more of, it, it hangs around a little bit mm -hmm. longer in that way that like a malty beer does. Mm -hmm. Take a look at Musty and let me know if you feel okay. like that fits. Oh, like an old family cabin sealed away at the lake for years. Yeah, that, yes. If I were to describe <laughs> this as like a place, that's it. Like you um, could find, yeah, you might find this in the back of the cupboard mm -hmm. of that cabin. None of this is pleasant. <laughs> the brew is stale, off-putting to the nose and dank. I don't really know why I would use this the very expensive ingredient. Yeah. Well, when I could use a, a touch of buckwheat mm -hmm. and a, and and you know, four fifths of my mm -hmm. honey bill would come mm -hmm. from caramelized honey. It's intense, and I would. I, I think that's in here. <laughs> there, it there it is. That was amazing. Look at me. I'm a freaking magician. <laughs> Abracadabra. Uh, bold, in your face, and enjoyable. Gives you a jolt of dopamine with Ooh. every sip. Um, yeah, they're they're definitely intense. Like I said, you'd want to be very particular with the way that you use it. It's I wouldn't say it's really a substitute for maple syrup mm -hmm. necessarily. All right. All right, go for it. Let's see. So this is... Oh, I think it is darker. Right at the end of harvest. This is, yeah, the late run. This is the end of the season. Interesting. Wow. Is it different? I think... Yeah, I think you might like that more. I'm not sure. Whoa. They get sourer. And this one doesn't really, like, I... What? I, I don't find it to be super minerally. I primarily find it to be sour. It's sour, but also there's a little bit of salt in there. Is there? I feel like it's salty. Yeah. <laughs> there's 25 milligrams of sodium in here. Yeah, are they all that way? Let's see, sodium. 25. Yeah. Okay, that, that, that tastes saltier than the yeah. other ones. And it's, you're right, it's got a, a sharpness to it. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to describe it. I don't have the word. It's almost fruity. Right, and I just, I kind of want to compare it to citrus, but like that's not accurate. <laughs> yeah, almost a little bit like a, like a, a pomegranate molasses. Mmm, yes. It's sour and sweet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Brackish is in here. Yeah, brackish. Read this one. Okay. There is saltiness or umami. I wouldn't say umami, just saltiness. Mm -hmm. um, perhaps unexpectedly, definitely unexpectedly, they get less complex. So this is the most complex, the most interesting. And it's not that they are bad because they're not complex. Yeah. And then this is slightly less. And then this is really just like one or two flavors. Like it's, it's straightforward, I guess is the word. Yeah. I would call that one layered. layered. Yes. Yes. And I would call this last one angular. Okay. The opposite of a sensation of roundness. This brew shifts suddenly. Maybe it's a tight edge from acid to sweetness, or maybe it's a strong sensation of structure that turns sharply instead of flowing. So this one, I feel like it hits with sour, sour and, and ends then with it, salt. it yeah. ends with salt. It's bam, bam. Yeah. There's not like a, whereas this one, you're kind of like, yeah. kind of going down the steps. Steps of flavor. So it's interesting. They're, it is really interesting. They're very different. Mm -hmm. I think these, if you did just like a head to head to head, uh, like a sugar wash mm -hmm. using using these and brewing it out with a champagne yeast, 
you would have three very different products, mm -hmm. but I think mostly you'd have two very different products with one that kind of is in the middle, sat in between. Yeah. 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 And weirdly, okay, if you were going to rank them in order of what you like, I would go straight down the line. Interesting. You like this better than this. Yes. Because this one's too sharp. It, oh. It's too, it's too jaggedy. Okay. Um, I really prefer flavors that kind of mm. dance from one mm -hmm. to the next rather mm -hmm. than punch yeah. from one to the next. I'm really glad we did this experiment. It's, They're very different. Yeah. And I'm, I'm glad we debated whether or not it was worth it to do it this way. And I think it was. I, I, I think we would not have I think the, the information experience. is valuable. Yeah. For you. <laughs> I don't know how valuable it is in general. <laughs> But if you if somebody said, "Hey, I want to do a birch beer with mm -hmm. birch syrup," I we can now say, "Well, what flavor profile are you looking mm -hmm. for?" Because they are very different mm -hmm. depending on the part of season. If you're looking for something that's more nuanced, um, you probably want to go with your early in the season. If you're mm -hmm. looking for something that's sharp and it's punchy, throw some elbows. You want to go with your late in the season. Cool. All right, should we eat our candies now? Oh yeah, they sent us candy. Yeah, they sent us candy. So candies. we'll eat our candies. This is a reminder, we are giving away a deck of these tasting cards. This is a test deck. Mm -hmm. This is not finalized, and I think there are some changes that are gonna be made to it, but if you wanna help us test it out, just go to uh, the web address at the bottom of your screen there, and you can sign up for the giveaway. And we've got social media and a Discord and all that stuff, we're on Twitch, so here's all the links for that. And yeah, they sent us these candies. What are Oh, they these? have nuts in them. That's what's happening. They're birch cream caramel. Made with, with pure birch, birch syrup. syrup. Yeah. But there's definitely, I mean, a nut in here. Oh, they're chewy. Mmm. There's not that much birch syrup in here. Not that much flavor in here. <laughs> kind of tastes like a pecan. I bet that's the nut. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.